What do you mean insurance? If those scrapbooks to each son will convince the rest of the police. After that, the investigation will expose the conspiracy. Right? Do you really think those scrapbooks are enough? I know government people don't move nearly quickly enough. Rena was thinking that if she didn't see any progress with the scrapbooks, she'd press the pressure the police by letting them know about the gasoline. Let's just trust to issue Sam for now. We should just wait to hear from him, okay? Yeah, that's right. Okay then, let me pick up where I left off. Anyway, those parasites became harmless with the passage of time, but some people didn't like that. Those people are the free families of Inmizawa, therefore they are... Renna was simply telling everyone what she heard from Takmazan. I started mumbling so I could let Suishisan know what was going on. What a smell, scanning a whole portable tank of gasoline. I just pretended to mumble to myself so I could only say it very quietly. I wished I could say it louder, but that was probably impossible. So I imagine it only picks up Keiichi's voice. But if it can pick up his voice even if he's mumbling, then surely it's got to pick up a bit of Rena as well, because she's probably talking a bit louder, obviously, to say the least. I wasn't sure if Oichi san could hear me. Hmm. I thought of an idea to find out whether or not they could hear me. Be nice if I hear it, uh, Kong. Give me a chance, honk the corn! Honk, honk the horn, not the corn! Kiragi honked once quickly. Gasoline, huh? Shit! That explains the smell. I'm sure she's intended to use it to get what she wants. Wait, get what she wants. That was, that was the other guy. Give me a chance. People usually mean an 18 liter tank when they say portable tank of gasoline, right? Well, probably, but I'm not sure. Come here, Amakun. Is there still someone from the forestry service here? Could you get him? I see those cans have gasoline written on them. Do your plastic kerosene tanks have kerosene written on them? Yes, we don't want to mix them up. All the fuel containers have labels. Not too many people know this, but regular portable tanks can't hold gasoline. Gasoline, while common, is extremely flammable and it can be lit even with static electricity. Therefore, gasoline must be kept in special metal containers. Those are called carrying cans. So what my worst son called gasoline really is gasoline. Are there different size carrying cans? 18 liter and 5 liter, I think. 5 liter ones are all flat in shape, aren't they? Yes, it's red and flat with a handle. It's my bar called it a portable tank. You think it was the 18 liter type? Maybe he called it a portable tank because he wasn't familiar with the shape. But either way, if it's really gasoline, it's really dangerous. Gasoline burns when lit. But what's an even bigger threat than liquid gasoline are the fumes. When gasoline fumes are lit on fire, they explode. Also, gasoline evaporates easily. Even at freezing temperatures, it evaporates. And so, in other words, inside the closed classroom, the fumes would fill the entire space. The classroom would then become a bomb itself. Gubachan, do you know anything about class 4 hazardous materials? No. I know gasoline fumes are dangerous, but I don't know any more than that. To prepare for the worst case scenario, I want to find out the difference in scale between the 18 liter and the 5 liter. I know I'll ask the old guy. Excuse me, could you call the station and see if the old guy from the for the uh, forensics department is still there. Oh, I've heard what's going on. The criminal requested you. Uh. Kaboom! Richie Batsuron! <laughs> there's a door on top of that, too. This isn't a laughing matter anymore. Anyway, do you know about fourth class hazardous materials? Fourth class, huh? <laughs> if we had everyone here, we know everything about hazardous materials. The suspect spread gasoline or something. Yes, yeah, exactly what's happening here. We bugged one of the hostages. Supposedly, the suspect spread gasoline throughout the classroom. But we don't know if it's for an 18 liter can or a 5 liter can. Can you tell me the worst case scenarios for both of them? How big is the classroom? Let's see, approximately 50 square meters. 
And the room is closed, huh? More than likely. I'm sure the smell must be horrible. That's not good, Oishi. I had a feeling. The classroom will blow up. Everyone in the classroom will be dead for sure. You mean in the case of the 18 liter? Fool, I'm talking about the 5 liter one. If I remember correctly, 4 liters is plenty enough to blow up an 8 by 8 meter room. The policeman listening to their conversation on the side went pale. 8 by 8 meters meant a room that was 64 square meters. Only 4 liters are needed to blow that up. At least 5 liters were scattered in a 50 square meter room. <laughs> in other words, the room has more than enough gasoline, huh? That's not good. I'd rather not hear this, but what would happen if it was an 18 liter can? <laughs> Let's see, to put it in your words, Oishi. The deal is hand is Richie, Ivatsu, Pifu, Tanyo, Hakaka, and Doradora. What do you mean? My man from the dealer, 24,000 points. The base distribution is 25,000 points. So there'll be one 1,000 point stick left. <laughs> Something like that. There may be one pillar left if you're lucky. Oh gosh, I don't want that kind of Richie. <laughs> I, got, I got them both mixed up there. I think. You should call the fire department and get a chemical unit ready. You'll need to have them deal with it after the incident's taken care of. Shit, I heard this through the bug, so if a fire engine shows up, the suspect will find out. Guess I'll have to get ready when she can't see them. Yeah, that's a good idea. You mentioned a bug, didn't you? Yes, I had a chance to uh, come into contact with one of the hostages. I gave him a bug. That's how I found out about the gasoline. Let's actually see how it's written in Japanese. Mm. Must have a kanji character. Gasoline. I can read that. Mm. Yeah, I have no idea. It's definitely gotta be one of the kanji characters, probably. I wasn't expecting a word like that to actually have a kanji character. I was expecting it to be like in Kanaka or something, you know? But gasoline was. Wait, whose line did I read last? Okay. That's not good. There have been incidents where the sparks from electronic devices set gasoline on fire. You know, gasoline's flashpoint is about 300 degrees. Even static electricity can easily cause an explosion. You gotta be kidding me. Why is such a dangerous liquid available to just about anybody? How the heck should I know? Tell that to the fire lords and automobile companies. Since it's June, the air isn't that dry. Well, just to be on the safe side, tell them to turn the listening device off. It's saying according to what I can hear through the bug, the suspect has a lighter. It's even my worst. Well, try and use their pepper spray to stop her. You won't be able to prevent her from igniting the gasoline. I can't even use the bug anymore. Damn it! Can we switch to someone else? The Oishi voice is like, I'm not process like, ah. Uh. Oishi, her liner is really, really bad. Don't even let her play with it. The suspect may not know how dangerous gasoline is. From hearing how much she spread, I don't think she knows anything about it. Oishi's back was covered with a cold sweat. You never even thought this would turn into such a serious matter. Well, you didn't think it turned into a serious matter when he was called in to say, like, Oh, uh, you're gonna be negotiating with that Raina Ryugi chick, right? And uh, she's taking the classroom hostage. She's like, oh, didn't think it'd be so serious. You didn't know how dangerous gasoline was. You didn't know because he'd never heard of cars exploding in car accidents. It's like, I thought I was just Grand Theft Auto! He knew it was dangerous, but he didn't know what it was capable of. Gasoline is more dangerous once it evaporates. Therefore, a burning car in an accident and gasoline fumes being ignited are at completely different levels. It's quite simple to understand if you think about how car engines work. Cars vaporize gasoline in the carburetor and let it explode in the engine's cylinders. 
In other words, that little explosion in the engine is what gives cars the power to move. Therefore, if you want more power, an engine needs to be bigger, to create a bigger explosion. So if an engine cylinder was the size of a classroom, how much power would it create? Anyone with knowledge of engines would know, but a lot of people don't consider how dangerous evaporated gasoline is. Because it's too familiar. It's like one of those things where you're just like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But you don't really think on those things, really. 25 hostages and one hostage taker. All 26 people were basically stuck in a huge bomb. Furthermore, the suspect might accidentally set it off. If she were to pretend to light the fire as a threat, that would be the end! All the people around her, she had gone pale. The classroom might explode at any moment. How could they save all the hostages? Especially when the criminal was living in her own delusion and her request was something so unreal. Excuse me, I found a letter in the scrapbook. One of the policemen brought over a folded piece of paper. We she opened it while the others watched. He saw a girlish handwriting on the paper. That, that's weird! What would girlish handwriting look like in Japanese? I mean, that, that's just like getting up in Japanese, and you tell me how this would, like, it's, it just kind of, like, like, look at that, how, how would you, it's like, I've definitely seen, like, written Japanese, and, like, I've definitely seen differences in how people write, it's like, when I write Japanese, I probably even, like, I, it's like, like, I, only last time I wrote in Japanese was when I was still doing that online course and was like, you know, taking notes and just writing out in hiragana and kanakana, you know, which is basically this, like, rashi e and all that. And I uh, just like, it's like, you know, you like on this kind of perfect paper clip, for example, when I'd write it, it'd be kind of like that, but it wouldn't be as perfect. Let's look for another, like, no, for example, right here. It would never look 100% like this, so, you know, I guess everyone would have their own unique kind of handwriting on that, I guess. So, but what about freaking conjure counters like these? It's like you got a freaking hashtag in a box here, what the fuck? How would you have your own kind of, it's like, they just make it more confusing, if anything, wouldn't it? If you, like, had your own way of writing out a conjure character that has a slightly different look to it than others, then wouldn't it just make it even harder to tell what the fuck it is? I don't know. Maybe it just comes down to good handwriting versus bad handwriting, much like it is in English, you know? It's like, bad handwriting's hard to read, good handwriting is easy to read. And you know, it makes me wonder, you know, f fancy handwriting, you know, the type where it's all loads of squiggles? Would that, it's like, I think I've said this before, but would that count as bad handwriting? Because while it looks fancy and all that, it's fucking hard to read. Because it's all just stuck together all fancy-like. It's like, how am I supposed to read this shit? It's like, I know you're trying to be all fancy with your handwriting, but I can't read it. It's like, what the hell, man? Anyways, he could tell this was written before she invaded the school. Dear Wishisama, If you are reading this letter, that means I'm at the final stage. I must have seized the school and held the students as hostages. I am planning to appoint you as a negotiator, so please pretend to be threatened by me and become my contact with the outside. The first thing I want to tell you is that my enemy is the Sonozaki family and also the aliens, who pretend to be parasites that control the Sonozaki family. Aliens? I don't think you'd believe me if I brought up the aliens, so I didn't tell you about them until now. But when you read these scrapbooks, you will understand. The aliens came to Earth in UFOs in ancient times. She's been watching too much ancient aliens. They landed in Onikafuchi Swamp. They used this village as their breeding grounds, and through their, that, their selective breeding, they widened their domain. They were successful, and now they're trying to invade the Earth. What the heck is this? All the other policemen frowned at the letter. No, no, it's not surprising. I read Talk Knows All scrapbooks, and they were full of even stranger stories. Personally, I like the one about Saucy the Best. 
So the Zaki family as well as the village authorities have been brainwashed by the aliens. The villagers' attempts to revive the cult of Voyager Samba were actually part of the alien strategy to invade the Earth. The aliens are very clever. They don't let people realize they're being controlled. The area clinic must be their secret research center. Please conduct an investigation and expose their secrets. Also, please check out the bottom of the swamp. The UFO must be there, still there. Also, capture all the relatives of the three families and take x-rays of their brains. You'll find hideous parasites inside of them. But please be careful. The aliens eliminate whoever finds out about them by replacing their host with a lookalike. That's how they have been controlling the village. Therefore, there may be already some aliens among the villagers. It is possible that they will try to interfere with your investigation. As a matter of fact, there have been lookalikes of Mia Tuckner, Rick Frode, and me, Renarigu. If you see any of those three, capture them immediately. That will be the proof of aliens existing among us. Mia Tuckner, why did she think that? Uh, I know! I told her over the phone that, according to the results of the autopsy conducted by the lab over in Gifu Prefecture, their verdict doesn't match up. Ah, you're talking about the mistake on her autopsy results. I told her I didn't know why Mia Tuckno was witnessed on the day of the festival when she died the night before. Now I thought she'd take it like this. Well, that's always what happens with you, Oishi. You always, like, give this information and it ends up causing paranoia. Maybe I joked around a little too much. It's like, you know, with my mental break that I mentioned, it's like, I feel like, you know, this is like, anxiety makes it easy to misunderstand, I feel. So, even if I was in Renner's situation, I'd probably misunderstand the whole thing as well. It's interesting that she included herself. Did she look in a mirror or something? When the policeman spoke up, he was one of the pair who searched the garbage dump that night. I can understand that. Remember, the night we looked for Renirugu, somebody said she was seen in Gagora. No it. it was probably a bluff from the villagers. She must have heard it somewhere and assumed there was another version of her walking around. Damn! Nostradamus, was it? This is just like that. No matter what happens to her, everything sounds like it was predetermined. Renirugu would blame aliens if she was to trip and fall down now. <laughs> oh, I, I, I've fallen, I can't get up. Aliens did it! Just, I just want to see, uh, let's see. I've, I forgot what I was uh, looking for there. Why did I put it into Japanese again? Didn't you hate that? It's like when you, like, have something you want to Google and you kind of like forget instantly what you were gonna search for. Nostro... Oh yeah, that's that's why I want to see if it was written out in Karakana. So, no su do ra uh, da ma su Just to kind of like see in Karakana. Or maybe she's coming up with all this crazy stuff so that once she's caught, she can use the insanity defense in court. No, this isn't about that. She really does believe in this crazy stuff. She does from the bottom of her heart. I know that for sure. She truly really believes in these stupid scrapbooks. Ah, there's an old letter. Let's see. P.S. Fuck you. I mean, I was posing yesterday with the same stuff that killed Tom Takasa. I've been scratching my throat since then. I will probably have clawed my throat open by tomorrow. If you can find the antidote when you investigate the area clinic, please bring it to me. It sure is something. Yeah, if she believes in alien stories, maybe we can trick her with an antidote. But you may not find the antidote, or maybe it'll be too late by the time you do. Therefore, considering the time I have left, I will set 7pm tonight as the deadline. If an investigation doesn't take place and the antidote doesn't arrive by 7 p.m., I will choose to die with all the hostages by lighting the gasoline instead. She planned that out all along! 7 p.m. What time is it now? It 
it's a little before six. Days are long nowadays. It doesn't get dark even in the evenings. It'll probably start to get dark around 7 p.m. We only have an hour. No, it might explode even before that. Shit! What can we do? What the heck is she talking about? An alien invasion? She's trying to take the hostage with her. That's just crazy. That's absolutely crazy. We can't negotiate with her normally now. Especially when she thinks she's absolutely sane. Stan, look what comes next. Hmm. What's naughty? I'm planning to spread gasoline throughout the classroom. I'm sure you realize how dangerous that is. If anyone's just storming into the room, please tell them exactly how bad an idea that would be. Let's have a look at the log again. I want to see if he said Nani! You know, in that kind of dramatic fashion. Well, he would have had to, because that is what, essentially. Mm. No, Nani! <laughs> Man, an hour long recording and then we're still not at the end of this. We're not even close by it to the looks of things, honestly. This this arc has still got quite a bit left to go. Also the hostages are anchored down with U shaped bike locks. Even if those alien policemen rushed in and killed me, they'd have to cut each lock. But if you tried cutting them, you might create sparks. Therefore you need to completely ventilate the room first. In other words, it will take an extremely long time to rescue all hostages from the classroom. Actually, I have a different explosive system set up other than the gasoline I spread. It's a very simple time bomb using gasoline and a kitchen timer. The kitchen timer provides electricity at a set time. I ripped the tip off its plug so it will create enough sparks to ignite the gasoline. I've already set a time to 7pm. Even if I'm not around, there will be an explosion at that time. If the classroom isn't ventilated by that time, it'll explode too. I'm sorry to ask you like this, sweet son, but please help me so we can avoid a tragedy. Please let the free families know that Mion Sonozaki, the successor to the head of the Sonozaki family, and Rika Furude, mascot for the cult of Oya Shirsama, are in this classroom. If anyone from the free family helps you, I'm sure their conspiracy will be exposed by tonight. The alien invasion is going to happen very soon. Please get going quickly. To my ally, wish son, Renarugu. We should throw the scrapbooks to the ground. Damn it! How can you call me your ally? It's a kitchen timer like an alarm clock. Oh, the appliances didn't have timers. The kitchen timer is a device that turns on appliances at a given time. When you plug it in, it provides electricity at a set time to the appliance will come on when you want it to. Well, that's convenient. Wow! Way back in the 80s, it's just like, wow, these kind of things were amazing. Now, I, that was just, just like, I just kind of think to myself, it's like, I feel really old fashioned with technology, despite, you know, using technology a lot. It's weird. It's like HDMI and shit like that. Freaking unfamiliar ground to me. It's like my PS3 has, has a HDMI port, and like when I recorded for Resident Evil 2 the other day with that, that, that capture card I was sent, it like I'd for the first time used the HDMI lead and it actually just like said it's like oh do you want to use this display and it's like well I've never seen that before because I've never used the HDMI one before and I still even with recording that I have to go through a HDMI split to get it to work with the capture card because the PS3 has some hardware issues that are just like fuck you it's just like it's like it's like recording with that capture card essentially boils down to a science experiment. It looks like a fucking human centipede of technology because you need to connect the capture card to like the laptop and to a converter or HDMI split depending on what I want to console I want to record off of. It's just like it probably much more simpler with like say PS4, Xbox One and all that which is you know kind of like its main settings are for those consoles but it can also record off the old, older console as well it's just a bit more of a pain in the ass and those are the consoles I record so it's just like yeah just like wow it's convenient no it's not it's inconvenient but the quality is much better understandably
It's possible to use that to make a time bomb. Using the kitchen timer, that sure is something a girl would come up with. Why don't we call the electric company and turn the electricity off? If there's no power, the timer can't go off. Ah, but that won't work. If the classroom became dark, she'd probably light her lighter. Hmm, maybe we can give her a sleeping pill as an antidote. But it would have to take effect quickly. I'm sure she'll have a hostage tried first. Be very careful. Understood. I'll get one ready. I need to talk to my bar son one more time. I have to tell him not to let Ren Ryugu play with the lighter. I also have to uh, tell him to turn the bug off. How about that, by the way? Have you heard anything interesting? Suspect seems to be abusing a hostage. Shit. I think it's Leon Sonazaki. Well, who would have thought? It's just like before you even said that, I was like, oh, it's probably me on, isn't it? Stop it, Renna! Renna kept hitting me on who had her hands tied behind her back. Renna wasn't using her fists, but instead the handle of her hatchet. Kitchen, you promised me you wouldn't move. If you do, I'll be angry. Renna's gaze and Tim Demir eyes were full of madness. I could feel Renna's emotions boiling over on the inside. If I opposed her, she could, would easily cut Mion's arm off. What I can't forgive is that you dug up the corpses and turned them into the police. I trusted you. I trusted you. You know what? Just like the way I read that, just like. I sounded weird. It's like, oh, you dug up those corpses and you turned them into the police. The band, the police. Those aren't the real police. You just dug up corpses and put them on stage. I wanted to see the real ones and you dug up fake ones. It's like, they're not dead. Oh, <laughs> just like, exactly. Renna hit me on his face over and over. It wasn't just Mion's hand that were tied behind her. Her neck was also tied to a window frame with a bike lock. So there was no way that Mion could protect her face. I didn't know if her forehead was cut or if her nose was bleeding, but her face was covered in blood. Her blood got on the handle of the hatchet, and every time she got hit with it, more blood was smeared on her face. The handle of the hatchet could easily smash her forehead. Because of her position in the Sonzaki family, Mion couldn't say that she hid the bodies, so all she could do was endure. However, Rena continued to attack her. Rena no longer had any restraints. She might even continue until Mion's front teeth were broken. Stop it, Rena! Haven't you done enough? I'll tell you the truth, so Rena, please stop hitting her. The truth? What is it, Keichi-kun? What is truth? What is... What is it, Keichi? What is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? You couldn't get the whole recording done in one session? You thought you thought this would be a much shorter arc? Well, guess what? You thought wrong, bitch. It's longer than you thought. So fuck you. <laughs> God damn, this is this is. I forgot how long the last part of the, this arc was. This is by far the longest arc of them all in terms of parts, isn't it? It's it's ridiculous. It has surpassed. Was it Tatariko Roshi or Tanagashi? Was one of the two was uh, was originally the longest one? But this one's definitely either already surpassed it or is going to surpass it in terms of parts. But either way, I guess I'll see you next time, viewers. And this will probably like like be continued in October, you know, or maybe even part of this recording will have to wait till uh, November. I mean. Because, like, October LBs and all that. I don't know. I still don't know how I'll go about the schedule and for that. Because I still haven't even got back to uploading at this point in time. Because it's just a big clusterfuck at the moment. But anyways, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.